Welcome guys. So as you know on this game we have not yet got a dragon. Everyone has wanted a dragon for so so long but doesn't yet exist. However, now it does bad boys. Now it does indeed because now we have got the lightning dragon. The five headed lightning dragon. The wings support this boy beautifully. As you can see we've got cheeky little lightning jabber thingies. Just, or lightning bolt gun firing things. You know what I'm talking about on each of their chins. They're firing lightning. They're a bit epic. We're going to show you just how epic they are right now by taking on, to start with, another aerial unit. Well, another aerial unit, because this one's now an aerial unit, of course. At least 15 wyverns. So let's just show you how goddamn good this Hydra, no, <clears throat> excuse me, not Hydra, um, flying lightning dragon is. Watch this. Graceful as you like in the air. Boom. This guy is strong. He's mobile. He's vicious. He's got good defensive powers. And even if these guys try and chuck him off the map, he's got more than enough flying ability to fend off this army of 15 wyverns. Look at these lightning sh strikes, shocking them to death. Spinning around trying to shake him off his tail. Look at that, he can even spin round. Look at this, he can spin round on the spot. He's got some serious aerial skills now. Look at that. What an absolute legend of a person. Legend would be, uh, would be a legend. As opposed to a ledge that I said numerous times in my previous video. Ledge, 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 and ledge some more. Anyway. This is how goddamn good this dude is. As you can see, just three, if you want to make him yourself, just three cheeky big old uh, wings on the back, lightning bolts in the front, easy as can be, beautiful. Let's take this boy against some, uh, let's do him against some like units, some floor based units. Floor? Ground beast would be the word for that, wouldn't it? Let's take him some spot. Imagine this boy, dragon, a dragon taking on, you know, George and the Dragon, that whole story. You might not if you're not from England, but you may anyway. So kind of like a. Mm, what can we call it? Is that a class of urban myth? I don't know. Where George slays a giant dragon against all odds. I mean, let's be honest, it's not going to happen here. This boy's going to get wrecked, and I've stupidly put them all on the same team. That was very dumb indeed. Let's just clear that off and start again, because I'm a dumb boy. Yeah, anyway, so yeah. Basically, the, the, the story of George and the dragon is that George goes and takes on a dragon. He's obviously the underdog because he's on his own. And uh, yeah, he beats the dragon. In this case, um... There are going to be many Georges, and they're all going to get their butts beaten by, by a dragon. Because obviously, in my world, the reverse happens. It's the poor Georges and the epic dragon, the epic lightning dragon, may I add, who's going to destroy the hell out of... Let's do 100 units, because why the hell not? Let's whack in 100, of, 100 Georges. <laughs> and watch this boy just systematically take them all down. Go, really boosh, 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 boosh. Here they go. Picking targets for fun here. I mean, they're all getting their stabs in, but I'm pretty confident he's going to take these boys down still. There's a lot of stabs going on here. A lot, but don't you worry. This lightning dragon is tough. Tough as can be. Tough as old boots, which is another weird phrase. I don't really know what that's about. The toughest of tough. These boys will not take down the, down the, down the I can't say Hydra. <clears throat> lightning dragon. What will not happen. Look at him. He's all over him. He's either shocking him to death with his lightning, um, with his lightning ray things. Or just eating them, whichever he fancies. If he's peckish, munch one down. Look at the carnage he has caused there. Look at that. Just bodies. While this dude is still picking. He's still feeding on people. He's still feeding. Look, he's still feeding. Get up, dude. You can fly better than this. Come on, man. Uh oh. He's a. Uh, he's off. There he goes. He sorted himself out. I think he was just having a quick snack. Anyway, what a legend. I think he's just feeding off the carcasses of his fallen rivals there. What a lovely little quote that is. Feeding off the carcasses of his fallen rivals. Nice. Do you know what? This is a battle you'd never see. Well, let's pick out one of the more recent new units because why the hell not? Let's let him take on some Prey and Manises because, I don't know, I just saw him there and thought, you know what, why not? Let's give him 15 of these boys to take on, shall we? So yeah, this guy is 700 because of the lightning bolts on his front. front. I don't think the wings add anything at all, but let's let him take on 15 Prey and Manises. Go on, boyo, destroy him. Boosh, 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 boosh. They'll be fairly tough. They won't go down with one shot. Let's see if they can take him down. He's getting him right in on the action, boys. He's getting him right in the middle there. He's been turned upside down a little bit this time. He's been turned upside down. But you watch this boy come good. These boys are taking quite a while to kill, man. I'm quite surprised. Are these boys, like... They're dying now. I don't know they completely, like, not susceptible to lightning attacks at all. Now they're getting flung around. Like soft toys. I have a child's toy box again. Some weird analogies going on here. Can he take down Frank Manus? Army 15. You know he can, boys. You know he can. This was epic. He's getting again dragged very much out of position. But he's taking him down because the boy's epic. There he goes. Look at him flying away. What a handsome little chap he is. Look at him go. 
ever seen a, you want to see a flying dragon on this game, we've created one, man. We've created a flying dragon. We've created him. He's an epic little beast. Right, one more fight. One more fight. That's a really epic one, shall we? Let's make this huge. Make a huge fight with lots and lots of things in it because that's going to look absolutely goddamn awesome. Here we go. Let's do an awesome, mighty creation. Cue montage. There we go, my army of 50, well realistically 47 because we've had a three Cryolophosaurus at the front because no one's died on my channel of a Cryolophosaurus form for a while. Anyway, we've got Cryolophosauruses, Purosauruses, Wyverns, Kozorogs, Hellhounds, uh, Lava Golems, Goros, Brachiosauruses, um, I think that's about it, isn't it? Something like that. We may have missed a couple in there, but oh yeah, we've also got, sorry, Terezinosaurus, T-Rexes, and Spinosaurus. Let's see if my beautiful $700 Lightning Dragon can take down an army of $6,471 worth of 50 units. Come on, dude, I have faith in you. Break these boys up. Oh, well, that's the, um, that's two of the three cryos already dead. Didn't take long, did it? You know, the, the dragon decided that it was obviously good to get rid of the pointless units first. Why leave them about? Why, why even... Give them any false hope. Go on, dude. Literally, it's raining lightning right now. There's a storm brewing overhead, and it's all coming from the lightning dragon. Oh, there's some flames kicking off now. Oh my god, it's all in amongst it now. We're in an almighty scrap now, boys. We're in an almighty scrap. What are the Brachiosaurus is currently adding to this party? Nothing. It's kicking lumps at like their own units, I'm sure, under there. It's all sorts of chaos in here right now. How many units? There's still some Wyverns left. I'm amazed there are Wyverns left. I've nice seen a Brachiosaurus drop. Lava Golem's gone boom. Goro's dead. He's flying around all over the show. We're getting pushed towards the edges of the map. The Kozorog's Cos doing some pretty good damage. I'm sure they're probably hurting me quite a bit in there. I'm sure they're doing some serious damage. Health bars? No. Where's the fun in health bars? We're getting pushed towards the other edge of the map here. We're getting pushed towards the edge of the map. Is this going to work for me or them? I can fly. These units cannot fly. Oh, units are starting to fall, boys. Hellhounds. Lava Golems are going. Terrazinosaurus are going. He's still flying. T-Rexes are going. He's not got many to take, but to take down now at all. They're all falling off the edge of the map, boys. My guy's lulling them to their death. In a waterfall of uh, a waterfall of carnage, a waterfall of units falling off. There goes another spino. My guy's in a bit, bit out of shape now. His flying pattern's gone a bit, but there's not much left. Can he finish these boys off? There's about six or seven units left, I think. Go on, lightning dragon, do your thing, boy. There's a couple of goros left. There's a Kozrog still left in here. There's still, there's still a lava golem and a hellhound here. There's not much left now, though. We've got one or two units left, maybe tops. The boy is an absolute monster. 50 units versus, I think it was 6471, wasn't it? Look at him. Doesn't even land afterwards. He's like, I'm, I'm buzzing, boys. I don't need to rest. My wings are absolutely legendary. Look at the boy go. Anyway, if you enjoyed the Lightning Dragon, make sure you please smash like, hit subscribe, and let me know in the comments what else you want me to create. I'm enjoying this, these winged units, as you can probably tell by the fact that I've got a few units going up with them now on my channel. Whoa! Celebratory vertical. Celebratory even vertical uh, nose dive. Look at this. He can also loop the loops, look. He's cool, isn't he? He's cool. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If I said if you enjoyed it, make sure you smash like and subscribe for me. And until next time, cheers all. Bye. Take a bow, little dragon. Take a bow, you little legend. Bow. Bow. He's flying off into the sunset, boys. Cheers all. Bye.